Hello, dear brothers and sisters in Christ. God has a message for his children. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for this day that you want me to release this word that you have been placing upon my heart and pressing it so deeply. Thank you, Lord. Showing me your impression upon my heart and to continue to grow me and mature me and develop me. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I pray that this word will be all of you and none of me. Help your children to hear what the Spirit says to the churches, because we are the churches. Thank you, Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our personal Lord and Savior, we pray. Thank you, Lord. Amen, amen, and amen. Thank you, Lord, my God. Get in position. Stay there. Because the truth is being revealed. The Holy Spirit is revealing the truth in your enemies and in the believers. God is showing us who is for us and who's against us. So he is showing us so clearly, but we must remain in the vine, which is Jesus Christ. Jesus says, I am the vine. You are the branches. Apart from me, you won't be able to bear any good fruit. Stay rooted and grounded in the vine because he's going to be producing good fruit through you. So as he's doing that, the enemy sees that too. And so the enemy is going to come and try to trick you up because they see what's inside of you. So you gotta be sure that the Lord, most high God, is bringing that forth wholeheartedly. You have to seek the Lord so that you can find him. He says in Jeremiah 29, 13, when you search for me with your whole heart and seek me, you'll find me. Thank you, Lord. So search for him with your whole heart so that he can be found. He is pouring out his spirit into you. So he is going to be revealing the truth. And he is allowing the enemy to expose himself. This is the most high God working on your behalf. The kingdom of darkness will not expose themselves. But God, the most high God, who is in charge of everything, he is the one. His wrath is here. So he is paying back to the proud what they deserve. Your enemies have been going against you for a reason. My God, thank you, Holy Spirit. He wants me to remind you that Jesus Christ says, if they hate you, remember that they hated him first. So, it's that they see Jesus in you. So now, you're done with the attacks. You're done with the abuse. That was to level you up in the first place. So now the Lord wants you to be careful. Stay with him. Because he is allowing the enemy to expose themselves. There were many who 
throughout your lifetime. So now this is the bear laying. He is speaking the truth. Thank you, Holy Spirit. He has no lies in him. None. So the father of all lies is the devil. And so he masquerades as an angel of light. And so does his servants. So they will trick you and deceive you. But now that's up. Their time is here. Where the Lord is saying, my God, it is mine to avenge, says the Lord. Leave the wrath up to him because vengeance is mine, says the Lord, my God. They were not just attacking you. They were attacking the God in you. But they couldn't bring you down because no one is more powerful than God, the Most High God. So they couldn't even take you down. You stood all the tests. You went through all that temptations. You've overcome those with the Most High God because there was times that you wanted to seek revenge, but you prayed to the Most High God and he rescued you from temptations. This is what he says he will do for his children is to rescue them and he will provide a way. So all we got to do is call on him, the Most High God, through Jesus Christ. And his Holy Spirit is the one that will help us, guide us, lead us, teach us. And he will send his angels to encamp around us so that we don't strike our foot against the stone. You have so much power that this is what the enemy sees. Just know the power that you have because God has given you the spirit of power, love and of a sound mind to crush scorpions and serpents. So they were presented to you throughout your lifetime as a test to strengthen you. This is part of your journey. So too much is given, much is required. You are that bold leader that he has been training all this time. So now it's your time to enter into your promised land. This is already promised through your ancestors, the same God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. So this is what he's rewarding you, second, third, fourth, fifth generations. There's a bigger calling on your life, many blessings. That's for your children, your children's children, even the children that haven't even been born yet. These are rewards, inheritance, and blessings. This is your portion. So go get it, but only seek first God and his kingdom so that he can add all these things to you. Thank you, Lord. Matthew 6, 33. Seek first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness so that he can add all these things that he's promised to you through your ancestors. You already know what he's promised you because you've actually been praying to him about what he's been giving you. Just continue to study the word of the Lord. Stay rooted and grounded in the word because the word is alive, sharper than any double-edged sword. And so his spirit will bear witness with his word. The spirit that is in you, thank you, Lord. The spirit that is in you is greater than he that's in the world. So his word, the Bible, the Holy Bible, the spirit that is in you, pray about it to the most high God through Jesus Christ. His Holy Spirit will help you if you don't know how. Call on him and he will answer you and tell you great and unsearchable things that you do not know. The Holy Spirit will lead you. Holy Spirit, thank you, Lord. Jesus Christ, the Most High God, one God, and the Holy Spirit is an extension of God. Thank you, Father God. God is on his throne. Jesus is at his right side. 
His Holy Spirit is alive here on earth and his people. <laughs> so we just want to make sure that we are not denying his spirit that's in his people because his spirit bears all truth. So don't believe every spirit. Test the spirits to see where they're coming from because there's many false prophets on the rise right now. So be careful. Study them. Study people in seasons. So again, watch out. Stick with God. Be careful to not give to dogs what's sacred. Stick with God because he's going to give you your portion, but he has to reveal to you who the enemy is so that you are not tricked. And then you can help other people see the same demons that are in different people. The devil uses people that do not serve the Most High God, but they don't know it. Because the God of this world, which is the devil, little G, little God, he blinds the minds of unbelievers, my God. And the Most High God causes them a powerful delusion. Yes, because they refuse to believe in him. So don't call them out. Don't let them have it. Don't seek revenge. Give it to the Lord. You may want to get some popcorn so you can see the show. <laughs> it's going to be a show, but don't laugh at them. Laugh at the sin, not the person. Pray for them. Love them. Because God wants to help you bring more people out. 12.28 Hebrews 12.28 God has given us an unshakable kingdom that cannot be shaken. And he's called you to be a part of his kingdom here on earth. So he wants you to help his children build, lead, instruct, help. We're not doing the work for people. We're helping them. We're sharpening each other up. So God, the Most High God, will send help your way. But just stay there so that you're not tricked by the enemy. God is revealing the truth and exposing the lies. So, seek him. Repent of your sins because sins can block you from hearing the voice of the Lord clearly. And you don't want to miss what he has for you. God loves you. And so do I. Most importantly, Jesus loves you. Resist the devil. He will flee from you. Just know the truth. And pray to God about everything. Because he will complete what he started in you. He that began a good work in you will carry it on until the completion of the day of Christ Jesus. Amen? Amen.